Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back again with a new video for you all. The repercussions of a prolonged drought are frequently visible. Water scarcity can reveal how vulnerable critical systems that keep communities running are, and it can even expose long forgotten towns. Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States, has recently discovered a number of long lost mysteries and secrets that have been buried for a long time as a result of the water level lowering. At least three sets of human remains were uncovered, one of which was located within a barrel and may be linked to a mob killing, as well as a sunken boat from World War II. The horrible drought that is ravaging the western United States has caused the lake to dry up, threatening hydropower generation and forcing the closure of boat rams at a popular vacation spot. Since records were first kept in 1937, when the lake was initially filled, the water level in the lake has never been lower than it is today. Several tourists contacted police to report what they thought were human remains, but it turned out to be animal bones or manufactured skeletons buried by local scuba divers many years ago. The discovery of a barrel at sea by some sailors in May prompted a flurry of further discoveries in recent months. Inside, the skeletal remains of a man who was claimed to have been killed there between the mid-1970s and the early 1980s were uncovered. According to the local mob museum, the homicide was a textbook example of a mob hit, and it occurred during the most violent period in Las Vegas history, an age of massive street violence and underworld assassinations. A week later, two sisters were paddle boarding on the lake when they came upon what they initially thought were bighorn sheep bones. However, it was discovered that the remains were truly those of a human being. In May, Ray Spencer, a lieutenant with the Las Vegas Police Department, stated, I would say there is a very good likelihood that as the water level falls, we will find additional human remains. Green claims that Lake Mead is the result of human activity and hence is not a natural lake. It was established as a result of the Hoover Dam's construction, which resulted in the inundation of St. Thomas, a Mormon village founded in 1865. According to the Deseret News, one of the town's final occupants was forced to flee in 1938 because floodwaters were approaching his front door. St. Thomas has been exposed several times over the previous century as a result of lowering lake levels. But in the last decade, these oscillations have kept the hamlet at high level. Green, a Nevada and Las Vegas history expert, claims that the lake was built over ancient sites, leading one to conclude that it's home to precious artifacts. Green conducts talks on the subject. Green is a history professor who specializes in the rise and development of Las Vegas in the state of Nevada. Green speculated there might actually be some archaeological traces, noting that a local museum has artifacts from the Puebloan people who lived in the area around a thousand years ago. Green's theory was based on the fact that the Puebloan people left behind artifacts in the area. At one point during their talk, Green mentioned discovering historical artifacts. According to this statement, Archaeologists were working there until the lake started to rise around them, and the lake eventually engulfed the archaeologists. The Colorado River flooded the dammed spillways in 1983, causing the water level in the massive reservoir to plummet by more than 52 meters, finally reaching a depth of more than 170 feet. Lake Mead is only around 27% full after nearly 40 years due to overextraction, excessive heat, and a decline in snowfall in the Colorado River basin. The lake has shrunk as a result of the combination of these forces. Officials estimate that Lake Mead's water levels will continue to fall as a result of the drought that has plagued the Colorado River for the past two decades. This implies that fresh discoveries will be made as a direct result of the dropping water levels. According to CBS, human skeleton bones were discovered in a barrel near the lake's bottom in May, when the lake bed was beginning to be revealed. Authorities believe the remains belong to a person who was shot and killed in the 1970s or 1980s and died as a result of their injuries. The victim was dressed in period-appropriate footwear. In the days that followed, more human remains were discovered in Calville Bay. The police are currently investigating the circumstances surrounding the death. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's video and found it informative. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. Do comment about what kind of videos you would like to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Be safe and adios.